guys and welcome to another kit review. Alright, so today we're having a look at a kit from Ravel. In 144 scale, it is their Type 2B German submarine, a 1943. Okay, so there's 55 parts in this kit. It measures 29, almost 30 centimeters in length, so it's a decent size kit. Okay. Now, this particular model was released in 2018, and it is a re-box, just a, a new box, by the way, nothing fancy. So it's a re-box of a previous Revel kit, which was also a re-box of an ICM model kit, initially released in 2010. So I think there's been, with this one, four releases of this particular Type 2B in 144 scale. Okay, so they're available from Ravel or ICM. It's basically the same kit. A couple of them might have new decals, but apart from that, no major difference. Okay, so let's have a look at the box. Nice cover art. As you can tell, it's a level four model kit. Um, 55 parts, I can't see it uh, being too difficult to construct. Um, kit number is 05155, for those of you who are interested in that kind of thing. Anyway, um, cover art. Here we have Type 2B, she's cutting through. Obviously it is a submarine net with mines. So they're the submarine net floats. And these would be, I assume mines or something like this in the actual net there's a larger hole you could fit a battleship through that hole anyway very nice cover up let's have a look at the rest of the box on the side copyright 2018 Ravel Germany by the way okay um, keep packaging for later questions just a repeat of the box art on the other side same again title box art on the back you've got your color call outs which is a great idea for the outside of a kit box so you can literally go well I don't have that I don't have that and I don't have that but I do have those so while I'm shopping I might buy those great idea as you can see photos of the actual model it does come with a base flag, a few decals, okay, so fairly straightforward, this here is just telling you some very basic information about the submarine, okay, so these Type 2s, because of the Versailles Treaty, Germany couldn't build submarines, so they set up a dummy company in the Netherlands, who designed the boat and then it was built in Finland because the Finns also wanted submarines okay when the Germans got them they realized that they were basically too small for um, any kind of use so they set them to training boats all right so majority of these type 2b's and I believe there were only about how many did they make not that many I think there were only the 2b there were only 20 made Okay, so there weren't that many of these boats made. Um, the majority were just used for training purposes for the other submarine crews. All right, so let's have a look and see what's in the box. So this one came off the internet, of course, and I got it fairly cheap. I think it cost me all up. It was a two for one deal and um, it cost me about $30 for both models. So this would have been $15 worth. I think it retails for around about $30, $35 normally in Australia. Okay, so that's what's in the box. You've got one bag of sprues with the base and decals and the instructions. Okay, in a second, we'll have a look at the instructions and I'll open the sprues. Okay, so let's have a look at the instructions. Alright, so, as you can see, it's in colour, all the way through. 
okay just basic title type 2b 1943 please note the safety advice same again just instructions of how to use rubber bands cut things off the sprues put the decals on etc same again multiple languages there's your color call outs again in multiple languages. So you've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 13 colors. This is a bit of a mixed color here. Basically, you've got 12 base colors plus a mix. Okay, so that's silver and black. That's it, silver and black. Easy one. Okay, and that's it. So you've got two pages for for basically in multiple languages for the colors and then you have sprue layout so you do actually have one two three sprues so that's the whole sides all right this is your base this is your deck okay this is your conning tower and railing all right this just tells, says you need spare parts, contact Rebel, contact your dealer. All right. So naturally enough, we start off with constructing the conning tower. Okay, so you've got your anti-aircraft machine gun platform at the back. Main um, base in the conning tower. Anti-aircraft machine gun. All goes together. This would be the trickiest part, getting the railings, okay? And then you've got your periscopes. That's fairly straightforward. Once that's constructed, periscopes on the conning tower, and then whole sides go together with internal uh, bulkheads just to get it in the right place, okay? Let's say cut this here, cut that there, so trim that off. Right, once you've got the whole sides together, because you need these bulkheads here to be able to keep the spacing so you can fit the deck in. Right, once that's done, that's solid. Then you've got your rear steering vanes. Okay, that's fairly easy. Forward vanes. Fittings and hatches for the deck. Alright, so railings for the deck, colour call outs throughout, conning tower goes on, main goes main gun goes on the front, then you construct the base, and she's done. It even has here where to put the anti-failing cables, etc. etc. Okay? And that's it. Fairly straightforward, 18 steps. This could be a weekend build, and it would definitely be not too hard for a beginner to build this kit at all. All right, and on the back, one color scheme, that's it, okay? Fairly straightforward, color call outs, all the different tones, etc. Okay, so would not be hard to paint this up. Wouldn't be hard to build it or paint this up in one weekend. And then you just weather it. They look like she's been at sea for a while. Okay, so that's the instructions. Let's have a look at the decals. So, there we go. Try and focus that. Revel, Revel, sorry. Keep calling it Revel because that's what I used to call it, but it is double L, so it is Revel. Germany, 2018. And basically, I see if that's focused. Yeah, that'll be fine. So, Name for the name for the base flight, a couple of flags without swastikas, and submarine insignia. Fairly easy, straightforward. Okay, so that's the decals. In a second, we will have a look at the actual sprues. Okay, so let's have a look at the sprues. So we'll start off with Natural enough, the two hull halves. Really nice detail. All right, you can probably already see 
but let's have a closer look okay there is your forward detail all right drain holes okay so really nice once this is painted up in greys etc you can quite easily pick up those holes with a dark wash really nice hull detail some really nice ribbing detail on this hull so i am impressed okay really sharp and clear these cable cutters here or actually i don't think the cable cutters is more as riding over the top of cables those are the parts that actually shows you to cut off in this kit okay so that's the hull and that's really nice okay so I'll put that over there. All right, next we'll have a look at this is your conning tower. And no, this did not have two conning towers all right you only get to use one of those but doesn't matter which one uh, they both have some really nice crisp detail on them okay um those are the railings for your anti-aircraft gun on the back on the platform here okay they will be the trickiest part to get off the sprue without breaking them but that's just being very careful and taking your time so let's have a look see not much else to see on that side i would be having a look there's no detail on this part at all so if that is the deck for the back and the aircraft gun I think it would have some texture anyway that's for something to have a look at as you can see that's one of your guns right there all right so that is the conning tower and And the last row. So your deck, your base, okay, your veins, steering veins, etc. These are your internal bulkheads and forward railing. Okay, so let's have a look at the deck. All right, so really nice, sharp detail. All right quite fine but easily picked up with a wash or something like that so that would make it just yeah it would make it come up really nice the veins etc the details are quite good the anchor right here very sharp but the attachment points for a lot of these fine parts are quite heavy okay quite heavy especially over here for your wheels etc so getting those off without breaking them that's just going to have to take a little bit of care and just take a bit of time all right there's your other gun all right so two guns in this anti-aircraft use primarily they weren't or attacking ships and things like this as in the early war guns as I said these were an early development from the 1930s designed in Holland built in Finland for Germany because they weren't supposed to have any submarines at all after the First World War okay and that is all the sprues
and that brings us to the end of this review. So there you have it. Ravel's 144 scale Type 2B 1943. Nice little kit. Really nice sharp detail on the hull. Okay. That would be a perfect ideal weekend build. All right. Probably the most complex part would be the railings for the gun on the back of the conning tower and some of the finer um, bits and pieces like the uh, flag mast etc which are heavy heavy attachments to the sprue. Apart from that, great little kit, it's fine for a beginner's kit or just for someone who wants a break from doing the more complex kits. All right, something different. And uh, yeah, if you're into collecting U-boats, Type 2B, there is another 144 scale kit that I've done a review on, which is Ravel's Type 23. Okay, so, and again, they both kits are originally IC, ICM kits that have been uh, reboxed, so good quality, nothing wrong with them at all. All right, definitely a kit that worth adding to your collection. Anyway, guys, that brings us to the end of this review. I hope you got something from it, and until next time, stay safe.